Hello, um, long time I don't record um, a message, a short, short message in English and suddenly, or not so suddenly, a few days ago I start to, to have this word in my heart. I also will record in Portuguese, but this word is very strong in my heart and I can give the title like, Jesus was amazed. And I never thought of this until a until few days ago. But the truth is, it's possible for us to caught Jesus by surprise or to let Jesus amazed or marveled. Uh, I don't know if you ever thought about this, but I don't want to take too much time, but I believe the word I will share, it will touch your heart. I believe this is a word in season for the church, for the people of God, for those who will listen to me, my friends, my English speaking friends from Asia, from Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines. And uh, um, my prayer is that you open your heart and you have a thirsty and hungry heart to receive this word. Um, have you ever thought of that? There are a few times in the gospel Jesus was caught by surprise. One of them, and I was just came to my mind, this was when Jesus went to um, eat the figs from the fig tree. And he, he was expecting the fig tree to have fruits because when the fig tree has the leaves, it means it has fruits. And he was surprised because the fig tree didn't have the fruit. And he, he was caught by surprise. But... Now, coming to a, 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 about faith, I want to talk about faith, only this, because I, cannot, I don't have the time to um, share this, uh, this topic about Jesus was amazed about everything, but about faith. One of the time Jesus was amazed, and the Bible tells us Jesus was amazed, and I can share this about three types or three levels of faith. When Jesus went to his own time, town Nazareth. Almost everyone knows the story, but Jesus was, was born there, born not, but he was living there, his uh, childhood, and everyone knew him. And when he returned there, and the Bible says that he tried, he tried or he was expecting people to accept him, but the Bible says he couldn't do many miracles because of their unbelief. But the Bible says in Mark chapter 6, he says, Jesus was marveled. Jesus was amazed. Another translation says, Jesus was amazed of their unbelief. We can listen the word of God for 20 years. We can be in the church for so many years, but still have no faith because Jesus was caught by surprise. How could they do not believe? And still he is today. Be aware that you do not be in this category, that you will amaze, let Jesus amazed by your lack of faith or having no faith another category of people that let jesus amaze is in matthew 14 or even in mark chapter uh, 5 you know the story this is about the disciples the disciples they were with jesus for so long already years maybe one or two years we do not know exactly so they were witnessing they were uh, watch, watching and seeing and witnessing in first hand what no other human being ever experience. I can say, and I believe you will, you, you will agree with me, that the, the disciples, they were the group of people, the, the best training, they had the best training, they were the most qualified group of people in history. And the Bible says after that they were seeing Jesus performing miracle after miracle, spelling demons, uh, raise the dead. And few times we see like this, the, 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 this episode of Peter when Jesus was walking in the water. And, and the disciples, they, they were seeing Jesus and they, didn't, they, they thought it was a ghost. And Jesus said, come to Peter. And G Peter started to walk on water. 
And because they start to doubt, they start to doubt, they start to look to the, uh, the, the circumstances, the wind, the, the, the rain, and they start to drown. And the Bible said that Jesus approached him and, and grabbed him by the hand, he pulled him by the hand, and he said, he, he, we could say here that Jesus was amazed because he said, why you still do not have enough faith? Why you still have so little faith? The same Jesus said to the disciples when he was on the boat, they were crossing the lake, and the Bible says that Jesus was sleeping. Jesus already said, let's cross to the other side of the lake. Jesus already said, we will arrive at the other side of the lake. Period. And in a way, he was testing them. And Jesus was sleeping. And suddenly, a storm arrived. And the disciples, they start to doubt. They start to be afraid. They start to... And they went and they woke up. Jesus. And the Bible says that Jesus said to them, they, he, he, he calmed the storm and the winds, and he turned to the disciples, and we can say here that Jesus was amazed again at their little faith. Because Jesus, I, I, I think I can imagine Jesus reprimand them, and he said, Oh, people of little faith, why you still do not believe? Why you still have so little faith? Jesus again was amazed. And so many people today in the church in, the, in this category of having little faith. Yes, they believe. But not at that point that can make miracles happen. They still doubt at the first circumstances. At, still, at the first uh, disappointment at the first uh, difficulty they lose their faith they start to operate again in their natural mind not in the spiritual now that's where I want you to focus now because Jesus was also amazed at an, a, a, an, another type of people category of people of great faith have you ever thought have you ever uh, uh, think of this, that G some people, they were able to caught Jesus by surprise because of their amazing, great faith. One of them is in the centurion. It is uh, related, it is uh, written in Matthew chapter 8, but in, in Luke chapter 7, verse 9, it says that it was a centurion. It was a good man. Even the people of Israel, they, they said to Jesus, yes, he's a good man. And Jesus decided, okay, I go to his home because his servant was uh, sick. And when he was, Jesus was going to his house, the centurion sent a servant to tell Jesus these words. Jesus, you do not need to come to my home because I'm not worthy of having you under my roof. But you just say a word and my servant will be healed. Because I'm, he was in the military and he, he was saying this, because I, if I say to a servant, if I say to someone, come, you will come. If I say to some, another, you will go and you will go. And I know you are a man. I know the power of authority of the words. This man was showing such a great faith. He was showing to Jesus that just he was so he was trusting so much the word that he said, Jesus, you just say the word, and my servant will be healed. And when Jesus heard that, the Bible says he was marveled. He was amazed that he turned to the people that were surrounding him and he said, look, even in Israel, I never found such a great faith as this. It was another lady and another uh, woman that came to Jesus. Is in Matthew. In fact, I'm here in Matthew chapter 15. 
a lady, a woman was coming to him and he was asking him and he was after him crying out. And the disciples were, were, were asking Jesus, send, send her away. It's like send her away. Is, 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 she is coming after after us, and and they were bothered with 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 the, with her faith. And Jesus decided to attend this woman and to uh, uh, cut short a long story. Uh, the Bible says that Jesus was testing her, asking questions and like trying to pull her away, but he overcome all the questions, all the, all the tests, to the point that Jesus said, Oh, woman, great is your faith. Go, and it will be done according to what you desire. What is in your heart? You just got, you just get this miracle because of your great faith. Again, Jesus was amazed of the faith. And let me tell you this, this is for us today. We can amaze Jesus with our zero faith, no faith. That's the, the example I said. Even uh, Thomas, when uh, he asked Jesus if he didn't see his hands and his back, he wouldn't believe. He was showing that he had no faith. He need to see to believe. And Jesus said, Oh, blessed are those who without seeing they believe. And Jesus was amazed of those who have little faith. They have a faith, but it's so little. This was for the disciples. They were with Jesus for so long. This is the same for the people of God today in church. For those who claim they believe in God, they go to church. But when the trouble comes, when the test comes, they show they have no faith. They forget everything they learn. They forget everything about the Bible, about Jesus. And they start to operate and to speak and to act and to react on the natural. That's who, what amazed Jesus of little faith. But let be the ones that will cut, cut, get Jesus by surprise by our great faith, by our great trust in what is written, by our great trust and faith that what Jesus says, it will happen exactly the way he said it. That the word of God, it does not turn void. It will bring to us, it will get to us what it is written. God bless you. We are approaching a great time, Christmas. This is not a Christmas message, but I want to exhort my friends of my uh, English speaking friends of this message. I believe it is a message of encouragement, a blessing of let us to bring us to the, to the level of great faith in God. We are in the most critical, difficult times of the church in all history. And this requires from us and God is expecting to those who say who belong to them, the chosen ones, Many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, millions and millions around the world. They go to church, they say they believe. But few are chosen. But few, they really know the power of Christ. The power of the promises of God. God bless you. Have a great time. Let's grab this. Let's move on to the next level of great faith in Jesus' name. I love you all.